What's good, everybody? It's your boy back with another reaction video. I will be reacting to what's this? Three true disturbing close encounters horror stories. I wonder if this close encounters of the third kind or the fourth kind. I think it's probably just close encounters with people. But I wasn't gonna do this tonight because I drank way too much alcohol. I, like, I haven't, <laughs> well, actually, I haven't drunk. I like a lot of alcohol. I haven't drank in a while, but that's probably why. The amount I drank is getting me, getting me way past this. So, and plus, I'm sitting on this, trying not to sit on my bed so much with the, you know, the hard times going on right now. Sitting on the bench that I have in my room, and it's hurting my ass. <laughs> so, can't do long reactions sitting on this guy damn bench so I put something under my ass but anyway let's just get into the close encounters of the fourth kind so it's only like 11 minutes so a little bit over 11 minutes so here we go <laughs> That's some bold shit. This happened about two months ago. It was January 2019 and my parents went out to a party. They told me that they wouldn't be back like until about 3 o'clock in the morning music. because the party the starts at 8 p.m. And the party is in New Jersey. We live in Connecticut, so it takes a while to get there and back. Oh, no. That is in New they York told somewhere. me to watch my 10-year-old brother and expected me to be responsible because I'm 15 years old. When they left, we watched be responsible you're 15. while eating a bunch of popcorn. That's the dumbest. It was around 11. 15, of course it's gonna be a fucking We just idiot. finished watching Infinity War. I told my brother to brush his teeth nice and choice. go to bed. I stayed up later to watch the movie Logan. Better the movie choice. Ended actually. and it was about two in the morning. I was getting ready for bed when my brother came downstairs. I asked him what the hell he was doing up and he said the boogeyman is in his closet and he wants to touch Michael Myers? Me. I looked at him okay, in confusion. I don't think Michael Myers is a my brother isn't the type of Freddy kid to pull pranks or joke around. He wanted me to check it out. I said fine and started saying that he probably heard, I don't know, a house noise. We have an old house. He said he heard a noise, and then the boogeyman said he wants to touch him. We went inside his room. I turned on the light and went to the like door. Lick your toes. I opened it, and what I saw made me seriously angry. There was a tall, scruffy-looking man with long, black, greasy hair. Made you angry? He looked to be in his mid-forties, but he was fairly built. I was pissed off when I saw this creep watching my 10 year old brother sleep. And I figured out Unless she would like me when, you when 15, he said the boogeyman wanted to touch him. Like six foot. I was so pissed off I punched Boy, him in his like fucking throat. 200 pounds. He dropped on the floor gasping for air. But I stepped on his face as hard as I could about Jeez. six times. He was covered in blood and having trouble breathing. I grabbed my brother and re ran into Wait, the bathroom and locked him in the, the throat. door calling the cops then my you parents, sound like me go my for the vulnerable spots out. in about 10 minutes nice. the cops showed up and searched the bedroom right here he wasn't in there Push my they searched the house Fuck he wasn't up. anywhere to be found i gave them a good description of his appearance and an officer even stayed at our house until sunrise a week wow. later i was informed that the same guy was caught and arrested for raping an 11 year old boy oh. and murdering his parents. Oh. It turns out that he raped multiple children before and even murdered some of them and their parents. He was 47 years old and received the death sentence. If my brother never came downstairs to tell me what happened, then I fear the worst could have happened oh, to him. And I'm extremely thankful that it didn't. Oh, 
This is told from a female's point of view. Oh, this fuck. happened to me when I was 15 years old, my brother and I. We shared a very close bond. <sighs> it was the middle of summer on a Friday with not much to do. Damn. And I was sitting on the family couch reading. My little brother, who was six at the <sighs> time, was in the living room playing with his toys. Till I felt a tap on my shoulder to see my brother. He asked if we can go to the pool. And I said, yeah, we can. We did a lot of things together since our parents were always working. Our mom was home at the time, but she had a lot of chores to do. My mother always warned us, but I knew about this the can't dangers be black of being people kidnapped. Because the so kids would have definitely been doing a chore. I took a sharp dagger with me and hid it in my bag. Smart. Anyway, we went to the pool. My brother met up with his friends, Tommy and Vlad. Three boys played for a while. I sat on a bench to read. As time went on, I shot a quick glance at my brother who was still playing, till I noticed a big shadow overcast mine. I turned around to see a much older man. He looked to be in his 50s. Why are these motherfuckers in their 40s and 50s? He smelled like alcohol and cigarettes, with dark red hair and the darkest eyes. He had a short beard. And he wore torn clothing. He began to speak to me in a very dark, deep voice. This is this the man called himself like Andrew, but I didn't care. Being an alien movie or something. He said, when they "Hello there, aliens. little lady. What is a cute little thing like you doing here all alone?" He asked me as he showed me his rotting, decaying teeth. Not about nothing. I knew Just nothing about like this right guy, here, but, like, but I knew something wasn't right. I was receiving very bad vibes from him. He turned his head and looked at my brother. I really like your little brother, he said. Oh, wow. I quickly looked up, and I was wondering how he knew that was my brother. My brother sure. got out the pool and was walking toward me. He I like, got up and I, met him he's like, yeah, I go boy. He said he wanted to go to the park and play. <laughs> so we prepared to leave until I noticed the strange man from earlier was now talking to my little brother. He told him he had some candy in his car and he asked my brother, does he want some? Rick had a weakness for candy, so of course he said yes. Are you serious? How old but is as this soon as I looked at the man, I noticed that he licked his lips. He slowly reached in his pocket to pull out a piece of cloth. I immediately thought chloroform. That was a total red flag for me. I quickly called out to he my brother, it out it's right time there. to go while that man glared at me. Finally, we went to the park. After a few minutes, Should've I had forgotten home. about the man. I looked at my phone, and it was 3.30 p.m. I knew it was time for us to head back home. But my brother and I left the park around 3.35 and began to walk home. Till my brother stopped dead in his tracks. <laughs> and I turned and asked, why did you stop walking? He didn't say anything, he just looked around. Then we continued to walk. Then I heard what sounded like a twig on the ground being stumped on. I quickly turned and slowly took the dagger out. And I stood in front of my brother. As I held the dagger close to me, I heard another noise and it sounded like breathing, loud breathing. I watched in horror as the same man from the pool had appeared. He gave me a sick, twisted grin and his hands in his pockets. He said, two beautiful children, here of all places. As he stepped forward towards us, the man then shouted loudly at me and ran towards me and my brother. Wow. I quickly threw the dagger at him and it hit him in the leg. He fell to his knees in pain and I quickly charged at him. And we fell to the ground. We rolled around for a while till he managed to get on top and began to choke me. Yeah, why would you run towards I noticed towards the dagger that had fallen right beside my head. I got the dagger and I stabbed him in his stomach. Blood soaked my clothes as I kicked and stomped on the man till he was unconscious. And me and my brother raced home. Both our parents were worried sick when they saw my brother and myself. The police found the man in the alleyway not too far from where he attacked us. My brother suffered from nightmares after that. After school, I was greeted by the cops. 
and they told me and my parents that the man who was watching us had actually killed a sister and brother. He had also had multiple photos of me and my brother. No shit. He's in jail now. Since that He's day, in jail. I paid more attention to my surroundings. You pay pretty close to your surroundings then. I don't know why you, you threw the knife and you actually penetrated him. I don't know why you ran towards him. Years ago when I was in the fifth grade, my friends and I were walking home from school when we noticed some of the other kids laughing very loudly at something and running away like they were disgusted. We looked back and they were laughing at this woman who was walking behind us. We didn't know why because we saw her every day when we were walking home from school. We just never spoke with her or we, we never even seen her up close. We moved closer to see what was so funny and we definitely notice what the other kids were making ruckus about. This was a man dressed in a mini skirt with high heels on. The other kids were throwing sticks and rocks at it, but he never responded. He just smiled while he was walking. A few days later, I just so happened to be watching the news and I saw the same guy's face on the news. My friend who lives around the corner was getting her mail when she saw the man across the street watching her. He waved and he started skipping across the street like a little girl while loudly asking her, do you remember me? Like, she was no. one of the kids that threw rocks at him. Oh sh She shut her door as he started running full speed toward her house while wearing a wig, mini skirt, heels, and a woman's tank top. He started banging on her door until she called the police. That dude got a mental problem. He was caught within minutes. Anything could have happened to us that day with this guy roaming our neighborhood. He had a mental luckily, problem plus nothing ever happened with to any of the so kids that I knew. Hey, yeah, uh, even more angry. Yeah, that was a much shorter story. Yeah, kids, don't throw rocks or sticks at people. Like, cause you never know, you might fuck with the wrong motherfucker who is crazy and decides to fixate on you, on, on whichever one. So, like, don't do that. Keep a little badass at home or go play in the playground and take your ass home. Cause if I was a parent, I woke up and I saw my kids. If I saw a bunch of kids, including mine, around some guy, cross dressed, and he's just laughing, and they throwing sticks, I'd be like, first off, don't throw sticks and stones at people. Second, I don't know who this creep is. Get the fuck away from. Him. Don't go near him. Like, don't be around him. No, you, you, if you are close enough to throw something at him, you too damn close to him. Like, don't, don't do that. If anything, I would have been like, hey, man, you need to get out of here. Like, you, you need to go. You need, you need to leave. Like, I don't know who you are. I don't know why you're here. I don't know what game you play. You need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's what I would have said. People, oh, I can this is America, I got free. I was like, yeah, man, I can beat your ass. You that you got two options. You can leave. Or you can get your ass beat. Pick one. It'd be my luck, this motherfucker's like some MMA fight. <laughs> or could have been could have went professional boxer and just beats my <laughs> Oh, but you gotta be, you gotta be careful out here with these, careful out of these people. You never know when you come up on somebody crazy and they fuck you up. You never know. And be careful out here. Careful out here in these streets, especially at night, because people can't see. And people get bold at night because they're like, can't nobody else see. 
and people find a way to see me so I can do dirty shit in the dark. <laughs> oh, I just love walking out at night. And here in Chicago, I don't. Like, I mean, I go out and run at night, but especially when, you know, when like spring and summer, yeah, it'd be hot as fuck during the day. I'm like, no. But I run at night. It's like it's hot at night. And I don't need the sun beating down on me, too. But, like, I go out and run. But it's usually, which is funny, I hear police be driving around so a lot. Well, not a lot. Enough. So where I ain't too concerned. I've even had some come up like, hey, you all right? Because they see me running. But I'm not running like I'm running from something. I mean, clearly you can tell I'm exercising. And they're like, hey, you good, man? And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And all right. And they drive off. And that's <laughs> They white, black, and Hispanic. But, yeah, just, you out there at night. Freaks come out at night. It's like that, that great song says, the freaks come out at night. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed my video. If, one, if you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Make sure to subscribe if you're here. Hit that bell. You want to be notified when I upload the videos. Comment down below. Share this video. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.